Hey travel friends, today we're gonna to be talking about the biggest mistake tourists make when visiting Venice, Italy. So you're planning your trip to Venice, Italy and you're gonna get there as early as possible, right? You're gonna take your the first train, the first plane, the first boat, the first whatever, <laughs> into Venice, Italy, and you're gonna like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit St. Marco's Square, I'm gonna hit St. Mark's Basilica. Maybe you have like five things, uh, tourist attractions, maybe there's a bridge in there somewhere, and you're gonna hit those boom, 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 boom. And then you're gonna take, you know, an evening train or you know, boat or whatever, and you're gonna leave Venice. And it's like, yes, you have a fully planned Venice day trip. Boom, that's your mistake. In video. The reason why it's your biggest mistake is you're not the only person with that itinerary. Right, you are one of um, a bazillion. Hundreds, right? maybe even thousands. The population in Venice sort of goes like, like this, right, throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And you know, by like 10, 11, the, the, the population spikes with tourists, mm -hmm. right? And it spikes and then it's all the tourists wandering around trying to hit the exact same things that you're hitting and then they're also taking their evening train or afternoon train or plane um, out. You can right? see so, them all leaving. They right. all cross the main right. bridge to the train station. It's like a exodus. So yes, there's great things that everyone wants to see. Everyone should see the Rialto Bridge. You should see St. Mark's Square. You should see the Basilica. But you're also missing the overall magic of Venice. Walking those tight little streets, crossing over hundreds of bridges, going everywhere on foot. The thing is, is when you just come one day, you're also not able to see it at night, which is what we agreed, the most magical thing of Venice. Right. So the reason why we really recommend not spending one day is because you can see so much more. Just if, even if you only still spend 24 hours, come in late afternoon, enjoy an evening walk, you might even be able to pop into St. Mark's because I think it usually closes at five or six. So if you get there late afternoon, you could pop in when the line is a little bit lower because people are leaving at that time. And then enjoy an evening, walk around, have dinner. And then yeah, if you didn't get to get into St. Mark's when you first joined, do get up, wait in that line. You're at least done with St. Mark's by 10 a.m. And then you could hit up any other areas and then take your train, plane, or automobile yeah. out. Um, yeah, I know that you know being tourists ourselves and traveling often, we know that like time is a big thing, right? Like we're all limited on time, and you're trying to, you know, trying to optimize like how long do I stay in this city or that city, mm -hmm. and like what can I do, what can I see, and you're trying to optimize things. So it's 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 very understandable that a lot of people, um, you know, think that they can do Venice in a day, and if there weren't crowds. And there weren't other tourists. Yeah, you. I think you can do a lot of Venice in a day. But the problem is that, like, if you don't schedule in an evening, right? Like, add an even, spend an evening there. You're you're just gonna you're just gonna be very frustrated with the crowds and not really see the magic that is Venice when it's not full of people. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So, All right, if you get anything it. out of this video. Please just stay an evening right, in right. Venice. Okay. Happy right. travels. Bye.